Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we are diving into the Arbitrum Deep Dive quest on Layer 3. We have about six tasks to do, or six little quests in this campaign. We have Introduction to Arbitrum, Trading on Arbitrum with GMX, Gaming on Arbitrum with Treasure, NFTs on Arbitrum with Treasure, Deploy Your NFT Collection on Holograph, and Notional Launch on Arbitrum with Layer 3. So before we get started, thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all these fun quests that we get to explore, cool stuff we get to learn, and the rewards that we earn along the way. So with that, we will dive into Arbitrum Deep Dive. Journey into Arbitrum's inception and significance in the DeFi landscape. Arbitrum is a layer two scaling solution for enhancing Ethereum's speed and scalability while reducing transaction costs. And they do have some cheap fees. Born from research at Offchain Labs, Arbitrum aims to evolve Ethereum's efficiency while upholding security. Adopting Arbitrum means enjoying faster transactions, lowered gas fees, and a smoother DeFi experience overall. As Ethereum's ecosystem evolves, solutions like Arbitrum ensure it remains competitive, user-friendly, and primed for future growth. The next step is to have at least 0.001 ETH, and it looks like I do. So now we'll make a swap of any amount of Ethereum to another token, but it has to be on Arbitrum. So it looks like I've done that before, but we will come here and I'll show you how to do it anyways. So select your Arbitrum as your chain. <clears throat> Make sure your wallet's connected. I'm not gonna connect mine right now, but come in here, connect your wallet, swap ETH for USDC, and it can be any amount. And approve the swap, confirm it, and you'll be good to go. You're an Arbitrum ace, <clears throat> beginner. Next up is trading on Arbitrum. As a layer two solution boosting Ethereum's speed and affordability, Arbitrum elevates the trading experience for derivatives. Derivatives allow traders to speculate on future price movements, offering a leverage position without owning the underlying asset. Arbitrum's reduced gas fees make derivatives trading more economical, letting traders maximize their potential returns. Because a lot of trading exchanges they're pretty, their fees are pretty high, especially if you're making a lot of trades. So we will need to stake at least 0.2 GMX on the Arbitrum network. <clears throat> Don't know if I've done this before. Nope. So we'll come in here, connect our wallet. Oh, and jump in the Discord. I forgot to mention, jump in the Discord. There's a link in the description of this video. Check it out. Uh, answer your, ask your questions there, and I can answer them a lot faster. So GMX, <clears throat> we need 0.2, so it looks like eight bucks. And we can buy from Uniswap or other aggregators. Let's check out Kyber Swap. And what I'm gonna do, oh, connect our wallet. I want to swap some USDC. So it looks like I'll need about nine. Nope. <clears throat> so it looks like right now it's going to cost about nine fifty or ten. Just say ten bucks. Ten bucks for point two and you'll need to stake that. But you can also
pull that back out when you're finished with the quest. Keep in mind the gas fees. Looks like it's gonna be dollar <clears throat> sixty, so close to two bucks in gas to swap. So now that we have our point two, we'll go back and go to the earn page. You see we have our wallet right here. Let's stake all of that. Looks like 24 cents for gas. Oh, 36. And then stake it here. See how much the gas is. 37. So about 80 cents, close to 80 cents in gas. On that, so you're looking at almost three bucks, maybe 375. And that should verify. Now we will trade on MUX. And I will wait until, actually, I'll just do that later. You can go ahead and swap or remove your staked, <clears throat> staked tokens on GMX and then swap it back. But now we will go to MUX and let's see what their minimum required amount to t open a trade is. So I'm just going to use USDT and this is a five minute chart. What are we looking at? Yeah, I'm just going to open up a Let's see, <clears throat> so it doesn't look like there's a minimum trading amount. At least if you have $10, you know, you can, you can make the trade. And I'm not gonna keep this open for very long. So now we are approving the contract to execute the trade. And boom, there we go. Oh, and it shows us our position too. Nice. That's cool. All right, now that we've made a trade, and you can go short if you want, you can do whatever, <laughs> whatever you're feeling. So I'm gonna close that, do the maximum amount. <clears throat> It'll just cost some gas. So there we go. You can see your order history here. And you have completed that quest. So now disconnect from there. Get the rare chest. Next up is gaming with a fun one. Dive into Arbitrum's gaming adventure where layer two technology redefines immersive gameplay with swift and cost efficient transactions. Discover Arbitrum Nova as it boosts your gaming by reducing transactions 
Transaction friction to near zero. A next gen experience awaits. Now claim your treasure tag. I've actually completed this before. But we can go ahead and do this. So play, collect, trade, compete, and discover your new favorite games on Treasure, the destination for community-driven games. A Treasure tag isn't just a name. It's your exclusive identity across the vibrant Treasure land gaming landscape. Claiming a tag is essential for upcoming proof-of-play features like Treasure XP, Treasure Achieve, and more. Connect Twitter and Discord, secure your four-digit code, and prepare to dive deeper into the Treasure universe. So claim your treasure tag. I have a treasure tag and we've done that in previous videos. You can go here and you only pay for, for the gas mint. So let's check it out. I've actually, we've done this, gone through this a few times, but if you can't find the video, on my page or on my channel just go here and you'll see yeah it'll cost about 10 bucks so get your treasure tag mint it and you'll be good to go there and you can complete this and then move on to the gaming Oh yeah. So gaming, we'll go back here since we completed that. And then we can repost on X if you want to. Oh, I just disappeared there. A magician. Oh. My her is crazy. Okay, discover games on Arbitrum. Open the Arbitrum portal and play any game of choice. You can bridge to Arbitrum Nova. I've done, I bridged over there. And you don't need to use the main bridge right here because it will be expensive. So you can go to Orbiter and bridge there if you wanna play games in the Arbitrum Nova ecosystem, but this is the Arbitrum portal. And you can see the categories right here and what network they're on. So if you want to bridge to Arbitrum Nova, these are the project that, no, oh, that's not all of them. Um, that's some of them. Okay. No filters. Yeah, <clears throat> there you go. So there's all these different, the games and stuff on there. The bridges, analytics, NFT marketplaces, developer tools, all kinds of stuff. So if you wanna check that out <clears throat> and you can bridge to Arbitrum Nova from any of these other networks on Orbiter. <clears throat> I hope that helps. And I don't know why it's, uh, okay. I think it might've skipped it. All right, <clears throat> next up, we're supposed to do uh, NFTs on Arbitrum. So venture into the world of NFTs on Arbitrum where digital collectibles meet layer two efficiency. Arbitrum enhances NFT trading with swift, cost-efficient transactions, a collector's ideal solution. From art pieces to virtual real estate, discover the vast range of NFTs available on the Arbitrum network. So explore trending collections on Arbitrum using Treasure. You can just explore all these different collections in the ecosystem.
I'm going to disconnect from here and we'll verify this last task. Bada boom, bada boom, quest complete. Found 100 XP, nice. Two more left. Deploy your NFT collection on Holograph. Craft your digital masterpiece on Holograph and sail across the multi-chain sea. Holograph offers a platform to mold your NFT dreams into digital reality. Craft, create, and curate. And Holograph, we we haven't really done a specific video dedicated to them, but we have explored that page or that um, quite a bit. And make sure you have enough Ethereum, deploy a collection. I don't think I've done this before, so this will be a first for me. Now, I do want to swap for some Ethereum if this will take some gas. Let's get some gas going. Gas it going. You know what? I'm gonna. Ow, that was my heel. Again. Ooh. It's the second time I did that with that heel. Nice. Ooh. That's cool. There we go. Need to stand up a little bit, move around. Okay, I'm gonna swap, get a little bit more ETH. If you don't have enough, um, I suggest you swap for some. So once I have enough ETH, I will go into Holograph and make that token swap. Okay, I'm gonna connect my wallet on Holograph. sure I'm connected to the right account. Ooh. Create collection. No royalties. Let's create our NFT. Let me see if I got my... I'm gonna get my profile or my... I'm just gonna use this <clears throat> and upload it. Just testing. We will save that. 
And then... I guess deploy. On Arbitrum. Deploy our first NFT. So it looks like it's gonna cost about $3 in gas. Holograph is a little pricey when it comes to, oh, $4, okay. Yeah, they're a little pricey when it comes to these things. View collection, you can mint. Let's mint one and see what the transaction fee is. 50 cents, 55, 55. Yeah, we minted. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. And now we bridge, go to the NFT bridge right here and pick, we can pick Zora. Oh, never mind. We'll pick Optimism. So choose a collection, go down, hmm. Doesn't look like doesn't look like I have it yet. Okay. Doesn't look like my NFT has shown up. So we're just gonna skip that one. You can come in here and go to bridge and bridge NFTs if you like, but it's supposed to show up in your collection right here. We'll just skip that for now. And we have one more to go after this, which is notional launch. Oh, I guess not. I guess that is uh, it. Well, wow. okay. I guess that uh, saves the time and hassle from a... Uh... Oh. Let me fix that a little bit. I wonder if there's an issue with that, that quest, but I'll find out more. I wonder if they, they took it down I'll have to check their Discord and see. But yeah, hope you learned a little bit more about the Arbitrum ecosystem. Get a treasure tag as it will benefit you in the future. Check out Holograph, especially Holograph because they're built on layer three or layer zero network. And that's gonna be important um, for your chances of getting an airdrop from layer zero. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below or come to the discord and I will see you there. But with that, this is the blockchain report. Have a wonderful day. Peace.